Hey guys, it's Hannah. Recovery and bipolar disorder. So, if you've watched my previous videos, you know this term recovery is something I do not use, is, is a term that I do not use often, which if you have not seen my previous videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Recovery means being in the process of eventually being healed. If that makes sense, okay? I'm not like a dictionary expert. For an example, when I think of recovery, I think of someone who has broken their arm. Sam broke his arm. Sam went to physical therapy for a year, and after a year, Sam was healed. And now, 20 years later, Sam shares this story at parties about how when he was 10 years old, he fell off the swing set and broke his arm. Ha ha ha. Okay, with bipolar disorder, I don't do that. You know, I'm not like, hey, geez, guys, remember that time I was uh, seven and I got bipolar disorder? Thank God I went to therapy and got rid of that. No. In my life, living with bipolar two disorder, that word recovery, you know, when I see it used bipolar disorder, recovery, depression, recovery, it sets me up for failure. I've already accepted this condition as being long term, that it's never going away. I go to therapy, I do the best I can to manage it, but my life is going to be filled with ups and downs, highs and lows. That's just the way it is. So if I say that I'm in this process of recovery and then I go through a deep, dark depression or I get really high, I'm going to feel, feel like a failure that I did something wrong and I have to start all over in the recovery process, which is just, it's just not fair. So do you understand what I'm talking about when I say recovery? I mean, it's like this new term that's always used. We see it. Uh, what does it mean to you? Do you use it? What are your thoughts? Okay, so please share this with those around you. I, I can't wait to see your comments, and I will see you next week. Bye.